Welcome to another episode of Field Phone Ops. Today, the Polish People's Republic Field Telephone TAJ43MR. And this is a Polish People's Republic TAJ43MR. Looks a lot like a TEAI43, and that's because it basically is a replica of it. The uh, Poles copied it. The Soviet made one when they were communists, and they came up with this. Uh, looks a lot like it, but the Poles made a lot of improvements on it, we'll go into. Um, has the uh, standard spot on top to mark a station number, call sign. This right here, this bracket, is to actually mount a, a dialing unit so you can make dial calls or a actual uh, tele telegraph key. This phone can operate in either a common battery or a local battery mode. Case is the same. It's the Bakelite case. It's got a slot over here on the side to put the hand crank on it. Um, we'll go ahead and open it up. Same layout on the inside. It's got the instructions over here on how to operate the phone in Polish. It's got the schematic over here in Polish, and it's got the instructions for connecting up the uh, binding posts. This phone's a little bit different. It's got four binding posts on it. It'll work with the uh, like the previously like the uh, TAI 43 with. A two-wire connection right here where you have two pieces of field wire that run to your distant end. Or it can operate with the single piece of field wire and these two connected to a grounding rod or stake. But it's got this fourth binding post on there. And there are no instructions in here, but since this operates in a common battery mode, I'm thinking that that's probably for connecting something along the lines of operating the phone as a common battery with the dial-up system. Uh, handsets very similar. The poles did put a lot better cord on it, I, I say, or a lot heavier duty cord compared to the, the Soviet one. Push toss, got the same standoffs. The case has got cutouts on it, like I said, right there for the uh, handset, the binding post. And it's got a third cutout right here for uh, if you put the, the earpiece on it. And when I get it out, hook the other phone up to it, we'll, we'll demonstrate that, but it's actually designed to be operated like this. Handset rested over the top, and again, the standoffs kept the uh, the weight of the handset from pushing to push to talk and run your batteries down. Um, this was, like I said, developed by the Poles during, I'm um, thinking, the early 50s. This one actually has got a uh, 1980 marking on it for as far as manufacturing, so I'm sure the Poles made this and used this from the, uh, you know, right after World War II to the 1980s. Also, this type of phone uh, on the communist side was actually made for a lot of other, other countries, so you can find these. Uh, TA J 43s that were made in different versions. There's an MB 66 that was made for, I think it was the Romanians or uh, the, the Serbians or one of those two, the Czechoslovakians, somebody, or the Yugoslavs. There's ones that were made for the, uh, the North Koreans, the Vietnamese. So, I mean, this is a very, very popular phone at the time. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and shut it down and we'll get another phone out and we'll connect it up and demonstrate phone calls. Okay, and I got it hooked up, and what better not to hook it up, or the best thing to hook it up to, but I have it hooked up to my TAI-43, so we'll make some phone calls. First of all, here's the actual, the little headset or earpiece that hook, you know, hook around the side of your head, and it plugs in. You can either plug it in right here on the handset, or it's actually got a spot right here where you would plug it in right there, close the case, and you'd have this off to the side and then your handset would be sitting like that with the person holding this to his ear to listen or especially got a strap so I imagine you probably could strap it sort of kind of to the side of your head. I haven't tried it yet. Okay first thing we'll do is we'll go ahead and we'll make a phone call from the TAJ to the TAI. Well, oh, I guess I gotta put my ringer on there first. The hand crank. Sorry. Okay, here we go. So it rings loud and clear. We'll do a quick audio check. Test one, two, three. Test one, two, three. Now it's interesting because I'm running this one with actually with three volts of batteries in it, and this was six volts. And talking this way, this one is definitely a lot more powerful as far as the audio going out. So that proves the point of varying voltage to control your. Uh, volume in your distance. Okay, we'll go to a call the other way from TAI to the TAJ. Not quite as loud, but it's there, but uh, as you can see, uh, 
We'll go ahead and they're very much, I mean, you know, copies of each other, roughly about the same size. I think, the, like I said, the Polish one, I think it's maybe a better quality, a lot thicker Bakelite. Uh, I think the handset's a little bit, I think a little bit better along with the, the cord for sure. But that's it. This is a Polish People's Republic TAJ43MR field phone. Thanks for watching.